Uh, hello. Let's talk energy. A lot of people put a lot of energy in what they think they know. In fact, they'll fight for the very ignorance that they display. That's fine. That's their prerogative. To have a, I'm right, you're wrong. I go through it myself, and that's kind of like a second nature. But one of the funnier things is once you realize what's worth fighting for or over, eh, you know, you're not so much into having debates or arguments. And the funnier part is when you get a bunch of like-minded people getting together, like a council of sorts, and they agree on stupid, then that's reflective of the whole council, not just one person. At least when I'm, if I do something stupid, I'm self-accountable. But when some when someone else is stupid and part of a group, the whole group is now dropped down to a dozen IQ points. So at that point, you know, that, there you go. But one other thing I notice is habits, not just about passion of learning something. But when you have a habit where you're going to go and, like, say, I want to learn something new, uh, you know, I, an old textbook or something that I never heard of that's related to, you know, my beliefs, uh, you know, I, I'll dog ear it because my passion is back here. And that's about finance and real estate and what have you. I used to own a company, how to build a better company, things of that nature. Do I read? Currently, I do not read. So I try to watch it on YouTube, you know, from the standpoint of these people. But that's where I go with it. It's about how you channel your energy to help you better you. To read another book does not make you a better Satanist. To be self-reliant and independent does, at least in my opinion. Once you learn how to walk your own path, you don't read a whole lot of books about stuff that doesn't concern you anymore. You always learn about what makes you advanced. And that's my recommendation about energy. Oh, yeah. Hail Satan, find your way.